This is a promotional video starring the latest creation of German robotics manufacturer Neure. The intelligent humanoid machine is fitted with AI software and will one day, its designers say, see to a range of tasks in both domestic and industrial settings. Its name, accordingly, 4NE-1. The creator of this new generation of robots is David Riege, the creative mind and founder of Neure. I had been a social worker in San Francisco, which meant working with people. I liked it there, but it wasn't really sustainable. So my idea was then to use technology to help people. He came into contact with a Swiss family-run company that offered him the chance to develop his own robots. Although he never studied engineering at university, experts helped him learn the technology. At first, he couldn't find a German investor for his vision of building robots. But it was a different story in China. There, where he found a shareholder willing to take risks and give him the necessary funding. But then tensions between China and the West worsened. It's already a minor economic war being waged by those at the top. Companies like ours don't normally benefit, with only downsides due to higher barriers. But there is no use crying about it or stubbornly trying to resist it. We have to adapt. So he went back to Germany. With the Chinese shareholder out, Western investors backed the company with 100 million euros. The founder is convinced it was the right move, despite the higher energy costs and wages compared to China. We have seen that it can be done in Germany too, automation and the use of robots. And as all the core technology is in any case built in Germany, why not build the entire product here? The company relocated to the Stuttgart area, which has a strong tradition in mechanical engineering. David Riege bought up numerous old industrial halls and warehouses on this road. He owns half the street. A small motor connected to AI software is both the heart and brain of his robots, a motor that also has Chinese buyers. The fact that China is tapping into our know-how will happen one way or another, as is the case with all countries. I'd say that we in Germany just have to run faster, supplying the technologies and offering them to other countries around us so that we can remain in this position. Germany is known for that, developing technologies for the world. What makes the robots a success is a combination of original AI software, original design, and a whole range of sensors. This machine can balance a ball on a tray, whatever direction it takes. In effect, it mimics a complex human sense of touch. For robots, too, it's a case of learning by doing, and sometimes things still get a bit messy. Human worker shortages mean that a huge market is emerging for household robots. We in Germany want to be the first. We don't want to miss out on this market. We want to be pioneers, and I'd say we already are. Take this mouse. Okay, I saw it. Please point to a place where I should place. Okay, I got it. The robot doesn't really care what exactly it handles. It just does it. And also feels when it's put it down. In collaboration with a specialist company, Neure has launched a welding robot that's suitable for small and medium-sized companies. The big selling point, it's cost-effective and enables rapid automation. At the mechanical engineering company Ketek, the boss often has to do the work himself because he doesn't have the human resources. Working with a robot makes repeatedly welding the same parts much easier and makes the job less monotonous.
It's especially popular with our younger trainees. We can get our foot in the door a bit to get the younger generation involved in welding technology. Programming the iBot 1 means they get to play around with it and try things out. While there is a shortage of young talent in many industries, the robotics company receives 2,500 applications every month from all over the world. Neura currently has 260 employees from 35 nations, united in the mission to push boundaries in the world of robotics. The young team also includes software developers from India. Yeah, like in India, currently, like as far as I know, like we have like very least number of like uh, the companies like who is manufacturing like robot. So like for Noira, like this is the like also like best place or like best opportunity. Like we can also like set up something in India such that like uh, we can either like sell robot or we can like maybe manufacture robot over there and uh, sell over there. So from business opportunity perspective, kind of like India is currently like kind of like big market. <laughs> The robot manufacturer still has the charm of a startup company, where every idea is welcome. The development department is housed in a former furniture warehouse. This is where new products are created that are still being kept secret. Behind this cover is a new type of sensor that can distinguish people from machines. We have developed a sensor that, above all, recognizes the characteristics of a human. I don't talk about such things on camera, but these are core technologies of ours that I've been working on for 15 years. So I'm careful with information. The goals are certainly forward-looking. Neura aims to build around 5 million robots by 2030 for all manners of applications. This year, the company is expecting sales to hit 50 million euros. David Riga has a vision and says that in the not too distant future, robotics might surpass car manufacturing as Germany's leading industry.